tell us what kind of an airplane is it? I could have it be a 737 and have it hit the World Trade Center. It was a big, big plane. Okay, and what do you see at this point? Oh, smoke and screaming and, uh, I mean, screaming engines and all the fire engines and police departments are all, all traveling down that way. Oh, my God almighty, the black smoke all over the place. I hope nobody, there's got to be somebody killed in there, poor people, I went to work. Wait, Tommy, we don't have any confirmation from any officials of this happening. Just repeat again, you were walking, you were just going outside. I was bringing the garbage out to the plane entrance when we, we heard this roaring engine. We looked up and there was a plane. Next thing we know, in a matter of seconds, oh we heard a boom. We went to the corner and there it was, right in the middle of the World Trade Center. Where are you standing right now, Tommy? I'm right in the building right now. Okay, and what do you see at this point? Oh, people all staring up there, looking at it, and all, oh my God, the smoke is coming out, black door smoke. Okay, you can see, we are we are physically looking at one of our sky cams right now. We can see building smoke from the top of the World Trade Center, Tony. Yes. Um, are there other people that are around you at this point? Everybody in pretty much of a state of shock. Oh, of course they are. People are all in shock. The people in the building are in shock going out. My God, oh my God. Look at the building is on fire, guys. Oh, my God. There's people in there. Oh, my God. Again, we are, now we're putting our camera in, we are pushing our camera into the top of the World Trade Center, and we can see that there appears to be some uh, fairly significant damage to oh, the top of it. Oh, yes, it's got to be the 15 floors that were hit with the plane. Uh, Tony, um, you know, I, I'm keeping asking you to describe this for me because well, as I'm talking... Well, what happened was, I was taking the garbage out of the building to go into the plane and to the dump it. When we heard, when I heard the zero war, I thought, what's going on? I looked oh, my God, the fire. Green, shooting right over, and that pulled off, 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 so we ran up to the corner and there it was, right in the middle of the World Trade Center. Tony, um, we are looking at... It's only 6 in the morning, though. So, I mean, uh, there's, there's supposed to be a news. We have flames shooting out the windows, Tammy. Flames are coming out the window. We've been told to stay in our hotel, and I'm watching this right in front of me. I wanted to call and tell you. I'm at the Millennium Hotel. My phone number here is 212-693-2001. Darren, I'm hearing what sounds like a helicopter. Yeah, it sounds like a helicopter. 
Oh no, there's a person, Tammy. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. Oh. There goes another person, guy. No, no, Tammy. This is, I believe what we're seeing. I could be wrong because the first, I, I think it's terrorists. They, they will target the World Trade Center. They have targeted the World Trade Center. I'm going to get dressed. But if you're going to do a terrorist thing, you pick not only a high profile target, but then you wait for people to congregate in areas. That's where you strike again. I don't think we're any safer now on the ground. Were you on the air? Yes, I was on Como TV. Replay. Replay. Well, after the explosion started. Watch this. They're showing the plane hit. Honey, I'm at the...
Good morning, Pat. I'm sorry, I'm a little shaky. Uh, this is simply the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I am at the Millennium Hotel on the 35th floor, directly across the street from both Twin Towers of the World Trade Center. Out my window, the view I have is of the World Trade Center. No, I'm across the street, so I have seen the whole, I saw when the building started exploding and the debris started flying and I could see parts of what looked like to me a plane and, and as it was exploding, I was afraid at our window, the debris was hitting against our window, I was afraid that part of it was going to break through, that it was on fire. Um, and Yes, I was, and the entire building shook and my, and I, you know, I'm from California, I thought earthquake, I look up and the window is completely filled with flames and debris that is falling and, um, and as we've been standing here, we've watched the, the second building get hit with another plane. The shaking, the violent shaking and the exploding, it was both. The, the, everything in the room was shaking. The entire, we're up in an upper floor and the entire hotel was uh, moving. Yes, I am. And Pat, I just want to mention, if people do anything, say prayers for the people that are in the buildings because people are falling to their deaths, jumping from the flames in the buildings. Yes, right in front of me. Initially, they told us to stay in our rooms, that it was safer because debris was still falling, and, and it, indeed it is. And they indicated to stay into our rooms. They just now told us to go down into the lobby of the hotel, but to be honest with you, it appears to me that these two incidences were deliberate and my fear is I don't want to be in a crowd of people down below right in front of the World Trade Center if there's terrorist activity and now there's people out there. It looked to me like the second plane was deliberate and I could be wrong, but that's what my, my instincts are telling me is to just stay put. There were two planes. Yes. Thank you, Pat. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? Once again, this is the Fire Safety Director. If you're asking that all I guess, please come down to the lobby. All guests and employees, please report to the lobby. Thank you. There's another body. You can hear more explosions. Guy, maybe we should go downstairs. Maybe there's going to be another plane.
Prayer's out of control. God bless those people. Hi. There's another person. Oh my God. So when they hit the, the ground, they're not even describable anymore as people. No, no they just almost disintegrate. Once again, this is your fire safety director. The building is evacuated. If there's anyone on the floors, if there's anyone in rooms, you need to come down to the lobby to be evacuated from the building. Once again, the building has been evacuated. We have said if anybody is on the floors, employee or otherwise, come down and evacuate through the lobby. This will be the last announcement. Again, please, if there's anyone on the floors, if there's any employees in the building, please evacuate through the lobby. Clearly not under control yet. Jane, we have another witness on the telephone of the, uh, the second 
planes landing at the second tower. His name is Robert Thomas from Brooklyn Heights. Can you hear me, Robert? Yes, I can. Can you tell us exactly what you saw? I was on the roof deck of my building watching the fire from the first explosion, and I was on the phone with my parents in Florida, and I watched the second plane coming in from Staten Islandish area. Um, and I was thinking, I was telling my mom on the phone, that plane is too low. I can't believe whatever that building at the first one. Whatever that is down there, that's fire. We have two explosions, two planes hitting the World Trade Center here in New York, and what this second explosion was that took place about a part of the God, we are the so South blessed. Tower has apparently collapsed. Thank you, God. We don't know if that was from the impact We're of the first guy. plane that hit it, or whether something else has happened there. We'll work on that. Just before 10 o'clock. This dust is just starting to settle after the second World Trade Center collapsed. We saw it collapsed and come towards us. about six blocks away now from our hotel. I'm gonna pan up so you can see the type of black fire smoke that's in the direction of the hotel. A little more to the right behind that taller building would have been the World Trade Center. probably two miles away from the World Trade Center. They're evacuating the whole area. The city's basically shut down. All the subway trains and office buildings and businesses have been closed. They're asking people to either go uptown into the center of Manhattan Island or to get off the island itself and cross the bridge. This is the Manhattan Bridge. There are literally thousands of people going across. 